Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All that talking just sound like a show. I'm just laying you know that I'm not in the tank. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. They put me in, so I'm going in. You play for fun, I'm playing to win. Back on the wall, I'm ready for war. If I beat them before, I can beat them again. They thought I was done, I went on a run and beat all the eyes and got even again. Watch what you say, I'm not one of them. When I jump in my bag, I can jump out the gym. Take a look at my legacy, I gotta let them see. I'm out here winning, cause I'm on a mission. Put me in the game, cause the way I'm feeling. Now. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. start on the ground with Dobbins. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Now this defense for the Eagles, they were excellent a week ago in the win over Pittsburgh. It was a little bit enlightening talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They'll go again with Dobbins. Running right through it. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off. A pretty decent game. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Back to throw. Farmer. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But Charles, did it seem like to you that maybe they were a little worried about his running prowess there? Because everybody kind of froze when he got outside the pocket and they were able to throw it for the first down. Absolutely, and you work all week getting ready for a game and you know that the potential is there for him to run it, but you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can hurt you first. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, what? everywhere and they want to move the ball around they want to spread it to different people but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well and that's what they just did on that play so from philadelphia territory now here's a first and 10 at the 49 yard line off play action farmer and it's incomplete boy he doesn't drop many like that one second down but there is a certainty in this game we know that wherever he goes, he's going to draw a big-time crowd. Throws in a double coverage there, and look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete, but they're going to count on him to uncover. Dobbins hit, and he fumbles. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. 
We know turnover margin always key, going to be really key in this one. And to force an opening drive turnover, that's huge. It is, and you know something? There's one coach on every team that weighs in at the worst possible time, right? And this is bad. He just fumbled the football. Can't you just hear him right now? Son, you messed it up for everyone on that one. Messed up our offense, and now you put our defense in a bad spot. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. An option handoff given to Sanders. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize the strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. Throwing to start the drive. Farmer slings this deep from McLaurin. That's caught inside the 20. A huge play there for Washington. 69 yards. We saw this plenty last year in college. He loved to take his shots downfield, and that throw, that was a thing to behold there. Here we go now on first and goal. Off the play fake. Farmer. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be upended at the 18. That's a very helpful pickup of nine after the play began at the nine. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's not able to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Back deep to return is K.J. Hamler. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Ready. Throwing to start the drive. Farmer being chased out left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. But well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. Farmer. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. 
And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. On first and 10, Farmer flush to his right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Eagles are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. A tough adjustment to the NFL throughout his rookie season, and his problem with turnovers is only exacerbated by his early showing today. That's a couple for him here in this first half, and he's cleared the double-digit mark for the entire season. Back to throw now in his own end zone. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down from the 21 and second and 10. They'll try and run the option left side. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. But I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. The Eagles sitting at a very solid 4-2 record through the first six weeks. And they come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, are all on display in that victory. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an Eagle first down. But that last throw, Charles, puts him over 15,000 yards passing now for his career. And Brandon, they're not going to stop the game and give him the game ball here, but that's still a pretty impressive number, and he's got plenty of more good football ahead of him. Although I would say the team should give him a game ball after it's all over. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Burt's going to give it to Sanders on the option. And he gets it down close to the ten-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Hey, smash, Broncos! Hurry, hurry! Throwing on second and three. Hurts to the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Throw left side complete. That's Banks. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. So first and goal now from the seven-yard line. Hurts. His pass caught at the four. 
touchdown, Eagles. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film, just be you. Enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, Farmer. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So just three yards on the completion there, and it's second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. There's a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a the toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd run to ballet school. Got the toes down and stayed in bounds. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Off play action. Farmer. Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Looking to throw. Farmer. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught along the sideline, and what a job of keeping his feet in bounds. They say that's a catch. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. 
And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Right back to Dobbins on first. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that's incomplete. Well, the connection they've had has been excellent today, but not on that snap. I think he was asking just a little too much as he extended that play, hoping for one more completion with him. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Farmer. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles will take over here at their own 14-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him up already. In the and this is caught on the sideline, and he gets out of bounds as well. How about that? The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. This is Smith with a grab. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing his hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one. So now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have the control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Robinson is going backwards. This will be tackled back at the four-yard line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Dobbins is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. They'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. 
Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Commanders take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Check, match, check, match. Go. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's got Rome. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Another run with Sanders, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but now all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he's going to be out of bounds here all the way down inside the 10. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They run with Sanders off the option. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. The kick by Elliott is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. To throw on second down. Farmer. Open man is Samuel. Complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. Back to throw. Farmer. 
And this ball incomplete. Uh, looked very much to be a catchable ball and could not hang on. Second down coming up. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Looking to throw. Farmer. Got his target, Samuel. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. The Washington passing game dialed in now. It's a first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to throw. Farmer. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall... Looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Come on, come on. Hey. Hey. Robinson is in. Touchdown, Washington. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. A very important extra point there, up and good, and they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Philly offense set to go and they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time that sack doesn't change their offensive game plan they always want to air it out and try and get the ball downfield quickly they're going to have to block a little bit better, though, because the urgency and pressure just increased. Twice the distance now just to get a first down and moments down to try and get it. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Banks. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Commanders are going to take possession of the football. Yes, folks, that is his third interception, and I'm going to use one of the most overused phrases in football. He's a ball-hawking safety. I love the way that you called for the shot there. That's perfect, though, because 
There is something to that. Being a safety often allows you freedom to roam around the defense, maybe not a specific assignment. Today, his assignment, find the football, and he's done so quite well. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play fade. Farmer. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Jordan Davis gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Eagles are right back in this football game. Boy, Charles, you hate to see this for a rookie quarterback. You're hoping it doesn't shake his confidence, but that confidence, it might be shaken because that is four interceptions for him now in this ballgame. It has to be shaken. Wouldn't be human if you weren't. Doesn't matter whether you're a rookie or a veteran. Four interceptions, you're not sure what you're doing out there. So to me as a coaching staff, I would think very hard about getting him out and trying it again another day. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 70 yards on the ground now for Sanders. He's got a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. And boys, see, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. They'll set up a throw. Open, and he's got him. And Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith. There to make the grab. And the Eagles have taken a fourth quarter lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Ready. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting. The That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Dotson, 69 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. The extra point, a vital one, and he gets it to go. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And, and this is going to be intercepted. A 
Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Off play action. Farmer. And he wisely will throw that one away. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. On third down, here's Dobbins. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Zerline's kick is up and through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance of the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Picked off by Cole Holcomb. I think you're right. Good game, y'all. Earlier in the game when he threw his second interception, I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never. Not and he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Obviously, Charles, such an important, well-executed touchdown, and that caps off what has been a strong second half. Remember, they trailed at halftime. And how about the response? That's the type of thing that every team talks about before a season begins. Don't worry about the scoreboard at the half. Let's play strong in the second and come out and take the fight to our opponent. They did exactly that, and now they have the lead to show for it. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now... <laughs> You're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So for Washington, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys.
What you waiting for? Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Tell the chauffeur to open Mercedes door. Put the pedal to metal and made it sore. She was, but I made it sure. It was, so we stayed indoors. Let's take it where no one has been before. It feel like I've known you some years before, but I don't know. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum opus. Simply grab the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are. Six rings like a mic. I've got a no sleep. I remember when it was the nose please. Now they captured the fashion from flow seats. I'm a whole king. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum opus. Simply grab the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are, we own it. Ooh, it's trouble in paradise. So let's parachute where the air's nice. And let's risk it all on the paradise. But she just want to make sure her hair's nice. That's fair, right? I just fell in love with a prima donna. The 2023 Madonna. I mean, your honor. I was minding my business until she gave me complete nirvana. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. Are you ready? Okay, say no more. She's a lotus and I'm the conductor of a magnum opus. Simply grab the doses. Why don't we take advantage of this moment? And wherever you are. Breaking away of being a great, they slamming the door, I'm jumping the gate. Cause a starving stomach like being punched in the face. And an instrumental with the last time that I ate food from all of the base. My eight spoon goon, big son, told me about the game. 20 years later, know my name. King, crown me loud in the back of the spot. Pay homage to an underground peasant, climb to the top. Funny style. On elevators could never fade us. I peep data saying anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. They should have cred with it. You be the fight or flight. I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of fed millions. With soul food, blowed and stock my bad kitchen. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move they gladly imitated. I ain't flattered, I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing after. A new beginning. My catalog like James L. Jones the ever living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it, oh yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam, I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day, I got extras on the way. How much? How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configured. A road I travel, don't gravel, that probably baffle it. Labels scribble on paper, they wanna shackle it. I own my masters and roars, as you can't raffle it. Wrist drip like a mango, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Without a tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace. I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination, needed, not a coca key. I'm the extra lighter on the dresser, I know you need it, smoking, not the competition, pouring up, we undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let you heard, we eating, talking by extra with a splash, extra acting bad, pull a light parades on parades, extra with the slab, pay what it call for the tail, extra with the bad, young Chris a king, better add extra on the... I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra extra? How much extra extra?
my god oh god this is on a god level the sun the sky you can see the vibe we ride the high always on a high level so open up your eyes better why these tell me you can join the journey